I'm having some breakfast in bed. I've got a bowl of goop right here and two apples. And there's Finn. Finn? Hi. Hi, Finn. So I have to get to Toronto. I'm uh, going to be on some podcast and uh, just getting the trunk ready. Uh, it might rain later, so I just brought uh, my high-vis raincoat. And I uh, just have the camera equipment right here. Insta360 ONE X, uh, selfie stick, the yeah, latching thing that I have the camera, some USB cords. So I was able to find a parking spot. Even with a bike, it's still kind of difficult just because of how packed it is. I need an incredible amount of protein. Look at this man. Look at the size of him. Stand up, Richard. Okay, well, I've been vegan for 10 years. I do bodybuilding. Like, what do you mean? He's six oh, foot three. three. My, okay, okay, but everybody's body's chemistry is different. I, okay, well, wait a second. You're saying, how much protein do you eat per day? Huge okay, well, tell me, how many grams? Oh, come on. Seriously? Well, wait, you're, you're saying you eat a huge amount of protein, so you don't even know how much protein you're eating? Things have uh, actually bad what, side what effects. Do they have? Okay, well, wait, what? tell me, what do you mean bad side effects? From plant protein? Yes. Okay, like what? Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, I, I'm... Okay, you know, plant protein is associated with longevity, whereas animal protein is associated with higher risk of, like, heart disease, early death. Humans have been eating animal protein... Okay, well, that doesn't make it healthy. My body chemistry demands... How do you know protein. this? Why? You know this? Be be because I've tried to go vegan. You've vegan. tried to go vegan? Yes, I have. And why did you try to go vegan? Because I thought... Um, if you don't really want to spend uh, money on like a dietitian or a nutritionist, you can go to challenge22.com. They'll set you up with a uh, yeah. with a certified dietitian. That'd be great. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll yeah, give it to you. Something. So just finished uh, filming the podcast. Had a little bite to eat, and uh, convinced a guy to at least check out challenge22.com to uh, try and you know get on a plant based diet. So that was cool. Uh, now, since we're in Toronto, let's get some uh, vegan junk food. Gonna head over to Vegan Danish Bakery. Haven't been there in a while, and it's my favorite bakery, so I'm gonna hop on the bike right now. It's always a good day when you get to ride a motorcycle all day long. Okay, so we're at Danish Bakery. I just have to cross the street without getting run over. So I'm gonna run for it now. There we are. Vegan Danish Bakery. Just got some good shit. I might have gotten a little too much, but it's not like, you know, 30 donuts crazy. I got four cupcakes, uh, truffles, there's some peanut butter cups in here, a little mini pie. Got some stuff for Jasmine and me, so I think it's gonna be another nice day. A lot of motorcycle riding, some treats, some anime. Hi. Uh, you a friendly dog? Hey, friendly dog. Oh, <laughs> you're a cutie. Aww. Just had to uh, take a piss. Oh, gas station bathrooms. I don't even know what the fuck people do in there. Like, there's piss all over the place. There's I don't know what on the floor. Like, what do they do? Like, it's easy to piss in a in a circle. I don't even know what people do. All right, so uh, yesterday my intention was to film a vlog, you know, get some motorcycle footage like I always do, uh, but 
my 360 camera that I use for uh, motorcycle vlogging didn't record. Uh, so I lost a lot of footage. Um, so I figured today I'd just go out again and uh, get some food. You know, not like junk food like I did yesterday, but you know, some like decent food. I'm uh, gonna check out V's Caribbean restaurant. It's a vegan place. Uh, hopefully by the time I get there they still have food. We'll see. And I also picked up some stuff. Um, I picked up a high-vis vest because I noticed last night when I was on the highway uh, when it was pitch black, uh, very few people really noticed me. So just to make sure I didn't, I don't get run over, I got this uh, high-vis vest from Icon. So uh, hopefully we have a nice, fun, safe ride tonight. Wow, I just got a new visor, and it is so clean and clear. I thought my visor was up for a second. <sighs> There's just something so pure and rich and fulfilling about being on a bike. A lot of people messaged me after I did that video about depression, and they just said, like, um, you know, do more of what you enjoy. Or mental health is important, and um, I've just been making sure I've been getting out riding and spending some time with Jasmine. Those are two things that definitely improve my mood. Even though I road rage, I still enjoy it. I just uh, shut the bike off at long stops now. It actually saves quite a bit of gas. saw a YouTube video recently where it showed you how much gas you save if you shut your car or whatever off for uh, two minutes at uh, an intersection. It's a lot. So I've started doing that because I'm environmentally friendly. And I just don't like spending money on gas. bottom oh my god oh. oh man right on the tailbone oh almost there not much longer Shell looks like it's a bit more expensive. Caribbean restaurant right there and they're still open it looks like don't know what time it is 6 16 okay so they're 45 minutes from closing they should still have food 
guy is nice enough to let me through. All right, so got the food. Uh, the place reminds me a lot like Idol Vital food, like it's Caribbean food. So it, it smells the same. Hopefully it's as good, if not better. We'll see. So don't think I'm gonna bother recording the ride because it's dark and I have to set up all the camera equipment again, which is annoying, but uh, I'll see you at home. So uh, that V's Caribbean food was really good. Um, the only problem was it's spicy and Jasmine couldn't eat any of it. So I had to eat uh, two whole things of it. So I'm kind of full, but I'm uh, munching on some uh, berries right now. I've got a big bowl of raspberries. Blackberry and blueberry.